Today, I'm going to show you how to add a light box to our site. I'm going to be light boxing in uh, a video, and it's going to be really cool. So, uh, like in the last lesson, I used a flux slider. For this, I'll be using Fancy Box, which is available at fancyapps.com. And I should note that with the new version of Fancy Box, uh, you do have to pay for it if you plan on using it on a commercial site. If you're not using it on a commercial site, you can uh, use it for free, but due to their terms, uh, you'll have to pay for it if you want to use it. So, uh, because this is just a uh, tutorial, I'm not, you know, I, I don't have to pay for it necessarily. So, you know, feel free to watch this. And if, if this doesn't, you know, I use Fancy Box because I like it, uh, but you can use any other slideshow and it's going to be very similar to this. Any other light box that is not slideshow. So first I want to download this. Uh, we'll click download. You can view the licensing options if you'd like. Um, and we're going to add the files to our Magento installation uh, the very same way we did it before. So I'm going to find my skin folder and then I'm going to start putting in these files. We need our we need our files here. So I'm going to put the uh, jQuery fancy box CSS file in the CSS where I put the other one, the uh, one from the last one, and I'm going to put the fancy box um, pack because it's minified here. You can tell. I'm going to throw that into my JS. And I'm going to wait to throw these images in here. I'm going to see where it's looking for these before I put them anywhere. And we're going to have one more thing. We're going to be using the fancy box media. Helper, we're going to go here. And here it is, fancy box media JS. And that's all we should need for this. I'm going to put this also in the JS folder. And let's go back to our local.xml because we have done this a couple times. So you should have this pretty much down. So I'm going to add another one of these add CSS actions. And I'm going to add the fancy box CSS. I don't know if I copy the yeah, jQuery fancy box.css. Okay. And I'm going to copy a couple of these JavaScript ones because we're going to have to add two JavaScript files the uh, fancy box uh, minified file, the fancy box pack, and the fancy box media file. And I'm actually going to go to Finder to grab those um, names for those files here so I don't have to type all this out. Because uh, I notice sometimes when you type these file names out, you can really easily have a misspelling or something, and that could throw everything off, and that's really depressing when you find out that's your error after a long time of troubleshooting. So I'm going to paste in our fancy box. Or, sorry, not that one first, the fancy box pack first and then the fancy box media. And the fancy box media just allows you to use different uh, media things like uh, it, it makes it easier to use a YouTube clip or a Vimeo clip inside of your fancy box. So let's save this. Let's go back to our page. Let's come to our home page. I'm going to refresh this and make sure all of our scripts came in. It's nice to make sure that everything is in here looking exactly how you'd want it. Fancy box media is here. Fancy box pack is here. Cool. And on the home page, we're going to go to the same place we were before, which looks like this. It's our home page. I'm going to do this outside of the flex letter. Uh, and I'm just going to have a link here. And this link is going to be to a level up tuts video. It's going to be one of our sublime text two tutorials. URL right here. I'm going to paste it in here. So here. And we're going to say, watch our video. Okay. And I'm going to actually make this an H2 because I want it to be super big. Okay. Uh, don't save that. Okay. And we're going to have to add a class to this. So if you look through the fancy box documentation here, we can see using media helper, our HTML has to have a, well, it doesn't have to have a class, but we're going to use this fancy box media, uh, and we're going to then key off that in our JavaScript. So let's click here and we're going to add a class to fancy box media on the anchor. And let's save this page. 
I'm just going to save and continue so I don't leave here. And now let's open up our script file. And I'm going to go back to this. I'm actually just going to grab this code right here and then we're going to change it to fit our site. So right down here, I'm going to add this fancy box media. Uh, it's looking for this class fancy box media that we just added and it's going to say uh, add a fancy box to it. You know, no opening effect, no closing effect. That's fine with me. And we'll save this. And actually we need to add this J before the dollar sign if you remember to make sure that jQuery is getting called correctly. And let's refresh this home page. And now let's click this watch video. As you can see, our video box, oh, hey, that's me talking. Uh, our video has, has uh, fancy boxed in here. I actually wanna check this out. I'm gonna inspect this because I wanna see, uh, it should be giving me an, a close button and I wanna know where it's looking for that button. So I'm opening this link in a new tab and it's saying it's looking in skin front end level up. So it's looking in the CSS directory for images. It wasn't really clear from the demo how they were doing that. So I just wanted to make sure, but I'm gonna grab all these images, throw them in our CSS, and this might look a little bit better now. I'm gonna X out of this and let's refresh the page and try it again. Watch our video. Okay, we now have an X, <laughs> again, we now have an X button up here and we're light boxing the sweet video into our site and it's all working and Check it out, it's even uh, sort of responsive. It, it, it sort of adjusts here, it's not perfect, but it's it's pretty good. So, uh, if in fact, if we were to have this smaller like this and then we were to open it, yeah, it's going to be the uh, screen size. So we have Fancy Box working, we have a slideshow. Uh, you can add all sorts of cool stuff to your site now with this. And these are sort of techniques that you see frequently, but really, if you learn jQuery, you can do a whole lot.